Lewis Hamilton is currently facing skull-crushing pressure from Fred Vasseur and Ferrari. And F1 legend Alan Prost has doubts about the seven-time world champion's ability to handle it at his stage in his career. Will his decision to switch teams destroy his legacy? Let's find out. What makes it hard for an F1 driver to thrive at Ferrari? It's a pertinent question, especially as Lewis Hamilton prepares to join Maranello in 2025. This scenario doesn't instil confidence in former Ferrari driver Aline Prost. While names like Michael Schumacher and Niki Lauda stand out as successful Scuderia drivers, Ferrari's history also includes those who couldn't leave a lasting mark, despite their proven abilities elsewhere. When Fernando Alonso, Sebastian Vettel and Alain Prost joined Maranello, they were multiple world champions. Yet, despite having cars capable of winning championships, none of them succeeded in delivering a title for Ferrari. Now, it's Lewis Hamilton's turn to test his fortunes in the iconic red of the Scuderia. Interestingly, this will be the first time in his career that Hamilton won't be powered by a Mercedes engine when he heads to Melbourne for the first race of 2025. The question of whether Lewis Hamilton can achieve what others haven't at Ferrari is a hot topic. Alain Prost recently weighed in, expressing that Hamilton will face substantial pressure at Maranello due to Ferrari's distinctive operational approach, which has posed challenges for many drivers in the past. The pressure on Ferrari drivers extends beyond the team's internal dynamics to the scrutiny of the Italian media and the passionate Italian fans, known as the Tifosi. Alain Prost's remarks about this were quoted by Formula Passion. It. He said, I can understand that he wants to try something different. Mercedes has been in trouble for two years, so I can understand that you are looking for refuge elsewhere. Alain Prost also believes that age could be a contributing factor to Lewis Hamilton's potential challenges at Ferrari. Next year, however, he will be even a year older, and I wonder if he will be able to regain his motivation. It's possible for a short time, but he's been in an English team for a long time, and the way of working at Ferrari, an Italian team, is different. Hamilton will also be under incredible pressure from the media. It's not easy. An F1 pundit believes Lewis Hamilton is past his prime, and may not secure that coveted eighth world title after joining Ferrari. Since losing the 2021 world title to Max Verstappen, Hamilton hasn't won a Grand Prix or contended for a championship. Lewis Hamilton has decided to end his relationship with Mercedes and will join Ferrari in 2025 during Formula One's ground effect aerodynamic era. His final season with Mercedes is not the swan song either he or the team wanted. Lewis Hamilton has had his worst ever start to a Formula One season, earning just 10 points in four Grand Prix. Additionally, Mercedes is only one point ahead of Aston Martin in the battle for fourth place, as reported by Dutch racing driver Michael Bleekemolen on Racing News 365. It's all just so bad. I think he's past his prime. Things aren't going well for him either. I don't see much point in him anymore. Maybe he will end up in the top two or three again. That could just be possible. That won't be easy, but it would be nice. I just don't think it's going to happen. Regarding the possibility of Lewis Hamilton winning an eighth world championship, he didn't waste his breath saying... No. It's not just a matter of Lewis Hamilton being past his prime. He, like everyone else on the grid, faces the formidable challenge of competing against Max Verstappen, who is considered the standout star of this generation in Formula One. Verstappen is on course to secure his fourth consecutive Drivers' Championship, continuously setting new records. Michael Bleekemolen, at 74 years old, is not surprised by Verstappen's achievements and firmly believes it's the driver's skill, not just the car's performance, that's driving his success. He points out that Verstappen is consistently outperforming his teammate Sergio Perez even though they're in the same car. I actually fully expected this and I have always said that, he said. Max is simply the best and you can always see that very well, that is after the start. Then within a few laps he is already one or two seconds. And that has nothing to do with the car being better. Because Perez drives behind him and cannot do that. I think that he, Perez, is like the rest of the drivers from the top teams. He is at the level of Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. And there is only one who stands out among all those people. You always see it in all classes. There is always someone who does better. And it often has nothing to do with the difference in the car. It's about the fact that he can handle everything a little more adeptly. I don't see anyone beating Max. He just wins because he is better. That is clear. I think if you put him in a Ferrari, he will win races this year. Maybe that the title too, because he's just better. It's interesting how people are already looking ahead to the 2025 Formula One season, even though we've just started 2024. This early focus on the future is starting to create some problems. Ferrari's decision to announce Lewis Hamilton's move a year in advance has backfired, causing scrutiny on Carlos Sainz's impressive start of the season under Fred Vasseur's leadership. This has led to questions about Ferrari's choice to release Sainz. Vasseur had to shut down these inquiries bluntly after the Japanese Grand Prix when asked if he regrets letting Sainz go. 
We have the same question every week. Do a copy-paste of my last week's reply the next time. Mercedes has fallen further behind on the grid compared to 2023, and the media's constant questions about Lewis Hamilton's future with Ferrari have intensified since Ferrari is the closest competitor to Red Bull. At Suzuka, Hamilton let his wrath be felt by a reporter when asked if he was jealous of Ferrari's pace. Before storming out on the media session, he snapped back with, Do you have any better questions? The anticipation surrounding what's been termed the biggest driver move of the century, with Lewis Hamilton joining Ferrari, is no surprise. It'll be intriguing to see if Hamilton can achieve success where his rivals like Alonso and Vettel couldn't. Carlos Sainz's 2024 season with Ferrari is seen as more than just another year of racing. It's considered a farewell tour with far-reaching implications for his future in F1, including a potential opportunity to join Mercedes. It appears highly likely that such a move will be officially announced. Carlos Sainz's journey with Ferrari, filled with highs and lows, is reaching its peak as he seeks to make a lasting impression in his final season with the iconic Italian team, especially with Lewis Hamilton set to join Mercedes next year. Following Lewis Hamilton's departure, attention has turned to who will step into his significant role at Mercedes. Team boss Toto Wolff has kept details under wraps, only indicating that the selection process has narrowed down. Mercedes has openly expressed interest in Red Bull's Max Verstappen, although Toto Wolff acknowledges that persuading him to leave before his contract expires in 2028 is a challenging prospect. You can quickly do a handstand, Wolff said in an interview with ORF, but Max is in the best car and as a driver that will always be your priority. I think it's nice to have these discussions. Even if there is only a small chance, we will try to have an active discussion. But at the moment, I don't see any reason for him to change teams. Toto Wolff is open about his desire to have Max Verstappen in one of his F1 cars in 2025. Robert Dornbos, who has past experience with Red Bull Racing, believes that while Verstappen is currently unbeatable with Red Bull, the dynamics are set to change. Robert Dornbos believes that starting from 2026, Red Bull Racing may no longer be the optimal team for Max Verstappen due to technical regulation changes. Additionally, from that year, Red Bull is set to use home-built power units in collaboration with Ford, Ford is not going to deliver. As it looks now, they don't have enough power. Robert Dornbos expects Red Bull Racing to drop back starting from 2026 and would advise Max Verstappen to consider moving to Mercedes as a better option. As a manufacturer, they have an edge over a privateer. The team may have a budget cap, but Daimler can pump as many millions into those models and engines as they want. You then want to be with a factory team. You may think, with Ford, it will be top. No, you don't know. Max Verstappen has a contract with Red Bull until the end of 2028, including various exit clauses. Toto Wolff would prefer Verstappen to join Mercedes as early as next winter, but this would likely create turmoil within Red Bull leading to a potential implosion of the team. Carlos Sainz is becoming a prominent contender for the Mercedes seat, with negotiations discreetly conducted. According to reliable sources at La Gazzetta dello Sport, Sainz is not just a candidate, but could soon be officially confirmed for the position. Carlos Sainz's performances, such as his remarkable win in Australia where he overtook teammate Charles Leclerc, are highlighted. It's noted that Sainz missed the Saudi Arabia race due to an appendix operation. These strong showings contribute significantly to Sainz's candidacy for the Mercedes seat. Discussions about Carlos Sainz's future have been kept discreet, with limited public details. However, Sainz has hinted at ongoing talks with various teams, suggesting that announcements regarding his next move could be on the horizon. The deliberate silence surrounding these negotiations reflects the sensitivity and high stakes involved. The potential reshuffle of Carlos Sainz to Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton to Ferrari is discussed, noting the significant implications for the teams and drivers involved. Securing Hamilton brings a seasoned champion with proven leadership and performance credentials to Ferrari. For Mercedes, the potential recruitment of Carlos Sainz offers the promise of continuity and potential growth. Both teams view their new recruits as opportunities to redefine their future trajectories. The F1 world is closely watching the moves of Carlos Sainz and Lewis Hamilton for 2025. These transitions are about more than just changing teams. They encompass legacy, strategy and the evolving dynamics of a sport that remains both unpredictable and exciting. So if it were up to you, who goes where come next year? Tell us in the comments section down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching.